It's week 13 of the National Football League, and we've got the rookie Christian Watson on the doorstep of another milestone in a great season, approaching 1,200 yards. It's the Packers and the Bears, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Just off Lakeshore Drive, Nelson next to Lake Michigan. That's where you find historic Soldier Field in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, you look at the Packers in this matchup, and this is a crew that has not lacked confidence as they outpace teams across the NFL running the ball. They're near the top of the league in that category, but that confidence, well, it's going to be matched because on the other side, you have another top five rushing attack in the NFL that they'll face this week. And this one, I think, will resemble a track meet at times because with all the running we're going to see, if these backs rip off a couple of big runs and you're already going, that can really key this ball game. This is going to be exciting to watch unless you're a defender trying to put one of those guys on the ground. turned to December and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second year pro Justin Fields leading the way. And no excitement unless, the, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The start less than ideal as they already face a second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Fields looking for Pettis, but that's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And into the end zone. It's a big six and a Packer touchdown. The CD, these two teams barely off the buses. And this defense already has a sack and now the interception and the pick six to take the lead. Partner, you'd have to think that this was part of their game plan coming in because they wanted to embrace an aggressive mindset and attack on defense. They were trying to force that quick miscue, and I would say their plan worked to perfection. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And it's good to make it 7 0 Packers. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception. Navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. In the midst of, well, let's just say a not-so-rosy losing streak. They've got the open week, though, coming up next weekend, so you have to figure this to be a game that they dearly love to have. Oh, indeed. They have to have this one because that's something positive to take with you when you go away for a few days, and it actually releases your mind. If they lose this one, that mind stays cluttered the entire time they're away, and they've got to scramble to get back in sync when they start playing again. Throwing on second and 14. Fields. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's when we turn to your line and say, oh, guys, can I get a little help there? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, 
You've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And as we check the next-gen stats, that play lasted just 2.7 seconds from beginning to end. Just not enough time to throw the football. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Now here comes the winner of the last two NFL MVP awards, Aaron Rodgers, as he brings his Packers out for their first series of the game. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks, can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And here's Jones again on second down. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Rodgers now on first down. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's pass about. Defense. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. And he'll try to get back to the pylon, but he won't get there. He's out of bounds, and that is going to be a safety. So give two points to the defense. They were in hot pursuit there, and in the end, they force him out of bounds. He just wondered how he was going to get out of this one, Brandon. We saw him painting himself into a corner, and finally has nowhere to go but out the side of the end zone. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend, and Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Fields on first down. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Throwing again on second down. Fields. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. And fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Second down, another shot for Jones. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this game. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. Now 
Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And a chance here to make this a two-score swing, maybe even take the lead. And it wasn't that long ago in this game. They looked like they were a little bit out of it, didn't they? But how about the safety? Get the ball back. Now a chance to take the lead. They are roaring on offense. Yeah, you just kind of feel it. Fresh juice on their side. Definitely. Throwing again on second and ten. Fields. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get the series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Escaping the pressure right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Packers with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. A huge loss on the play. And that's going to bring up a second of about a mile here. Again, it's Jones. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter instead of right now as the clock continues to run. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. On third down, here's Jones. They find some open field here. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And they're going to speed things up here. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. That one caught downfield by Watson. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we pass the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. And he is going to lose yardage here. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. Oh, he fakes a spike. And that's incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And for the third time now, this is going to wind up a safety. Unbelievable. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line to throw his fields. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. 
Second and eight coming up. Here's a full receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw finds its target, Dobbs. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. This is caught. And it's a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Packers take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. I think it's easy to say mission accomplished on that drive. The goal was to increase the lead. They did exactly that. Now Crosby for the point after. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now they're a little further behind the eight ball after the interception led to the touchdown. So a two-score deficit here, first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now they go screen, it's complete. They'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down. These two teams, they met up earlier in the year back in week two. And it was the visitors getting the win there. So they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Well, whatever adjustments they're trying to make over on that sideline, Charles, this defense, they, they just seem to be a step in front of them and not giving them a chance to implement any of those changes. And here, a pick six, and they widen the lead. At least a step ahead, maybe even two steps. And right now, they are thinking hard about putting this opponent away. That turnover, it grew their lead and just totally deflated that offense. Now, these next couple of series, you can take them out of the game entirely if you continue on this pace. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Take it in at the three. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Bears offense ready to get going again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball Holding and move it fast. Offense. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Still first down. Fields now to throw. Open man is Komet, the tight end. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. And again, back to Komet. Now he's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play. Back now at Soldier Field. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. 
They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And they get him down right near the midfield stripe. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On play action. Now Rodgers. He finds Watson complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Looking for Christian Watson that time. And it's second down. An inside give to Jones. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now Jones. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. One back in the game. That's Jones, second and goal. He's going to get it again. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones. His 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Packers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point try now for Crosby. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. We're facing a big fourth quarter deficit here. Things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season. But in this one, well, their defense is really strong. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Fields. Flushed out right. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. A feather in the cap for the defender picking off one of the league's better quarterbacks so far this season. And add another feather in the cap for the coaches, too. Excellent game plan. And they had their guys aware of his ability to roll out and how to defend against it. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Fields. Completion here to Claypool. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Now it's Fields. That's complete right side to Kmet. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. To throw again on second down. Fields. 
desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Brings up third and five. Fields. And that is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Taken in at the 22. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And control of the football switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brad, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for Green Bay, the win pushes their record now to 11-2 on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Chicago, it's unfortunately more of the same as they'll fall to 3-10 on the year. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks' time.